we try to offer people um, a different experience when they walk in the door. I really try to do the wow factor. We try to change the store from season to season. So, um, you know, starting in spring, we do Valentine's, incorporated with spring, then Mother's Day, uh, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, uh, then summertime you know we do the fourth of july stuff but then it kind of there's a little lean time in fourth of july when people are on vacation and and kids are out of school and so it's a it's a little lean but then as soon as august hits then we jump right into fall and halloween halloween is really big now with people having big parties so we do halloween trees um, custom wreaths you know just all sorts of great Halloween decorations. The salon is where it all started. It uh, started with three three girls. My wife wanted to open up a little salon, had an opportunity. A couple girls wanted to come with her. And so it's just expanded from that. Each year we've added a few more girls. Every three or four years we've expanded, added a few more stations. <laughs> and with the work of the girls and their clients and their creative forces and touch, it's just all kind of accumulated and, and came together and into what it is today. I never ever wanted to own my own salon because I'd worked for one for about 10 years and just saw all the what went on. It's like, oh, I don't want that. So the salon I had been working at closed down and then I went to another place temporarily waiting for this other one that I was going to go work at to finish being under construction. And this just fell into our lap. And when we came over here, it was like, ooh, do we really want to do this? And so we talked about it, and he says, well, if we can get all the, the loans and everything, and everything just fell into place, it just so it was meant to be. It was meant to be. So we didn't fight it, and here we are 12 years later, basically same girls. We all get along really well. We're just like a family. Um, we all look out for each other, but kind of stay out of each other's business, but we just all click, and so it's just been a really nice Right. The salon and the gift shop work together because um, the, the gift shop feeds off of the salon clientele. You know, I've tried to create something that's unique and fun for them to come in so not only can they get their hair done, but they can have a shopping experience too. Yeah, and it's great because like, oh, I need to go get a gift. So instead of going to another business and having to get a gift, it's like, oh, great. And so now they can kind of come in here and they'll get their hair done. They'll come over and get a gift. Can you gift wrap it for, for me? Yeah. So it's like, and then we got cards. So it's, um, they can get something done. It's a whole shopping hair experience. Put their color on. They'll walk over here with their color on and shop. It's like get stuff for their house and everything. It's really convenient for them. And a lot of the people like to shop local. That's what we're all pushing for. So, um, And like I said, with, with the things that we have, not everybody has. So it's a, an enjoyable experience for the clients.